In the third part of tutorial 54, I'll show you how to complete these beautiful buckle shoes. I'm about to finish round 10, single crochet into the last stitch of previous round, and now slip into the chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. Once you complete round 10, your shoe will look like this. Now let's continue the work and crochet round 11. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn and single crochet in a row. Stop when you have two stitches left on previous round before the cable. Do not work through these two stitches. One, two. So let's single crochet all the way till that point. Here in previous round I have two stitches before the cable stitch. Now single crochet two together, pull up a loop through the next stitch, hold two loops on the hook, then pull up a loop through the following decrease stitch, yarn over and pull through three to complete single crochet two together. Now continue and around the first front post treble Front post single crochet, insert the hook around the post, pull up a loop through, then yarn over and pull through two. Front post single crochet is made. Work around the following stitches. Around the next stitch, front post half double crochet. Then around the next stitch, front post double crochet. Then front post treble crochet around the next six stitches. Yarn over the hook two times, then find the next stitch of previous round, insert the hook around the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, repeat three times. Then front post treble crochet around the next stitch. It's two, then around the next stitch. three, four, Five and the last front post treble. Six. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post half double crochet. And front post single crochet. Now, as we did on the other side, single crochet two together. Pull up a loop through the next stitch of previous round, it is through the decrease stitch. Then pull up a loop through the next single crochet, then yarn over and pull through three. Continue and single crochet in a row till the end of this round. Let's stop and see. Here how the braid on the toe looks right now. Keep working to complete this round single crochet till the end. I'm about to complete round 11 single crochet into the last stitch of previous round and then make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Now at this point you can cut off the yarn. To secure the end, I'll chain one 
and pull the last loop all the way through the stitch. The shoe is ready. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll be crocheting the tube for the belt to pass it into and then buckle the shoe. I'll begin the tube on the front working through these front post treble crochet stitches. There are six of them in a row. So now I'll join the yarn and continue working in rows. You can see that on the last round we have front post stitches. Here they are. Skip the first three, one, two, three. Insert the hook into the fourth stitch. It is the first front post treble. Here you can see that there are six of them in the middle. So now to join the yarn, pull up a loop through this first front post treble crochet stitch. And begin the row. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. And then double crochet into each of next five front post treble crochet stitches. One, two, three, four and into the next stitch double crochet five here on previous round we have one two three three front post stitches left one two three at this point the first row is ready turn the work to crochet row two chain three to bring up the yarn one, two, three, and double crochet in a row. Skip the first stitch of previous row and double crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and the last double work into the next chain stitch. Five. Row two is ready. Turn to continue. Now crochet two more rows of double crochets. Work the exact same way as these previous two. We need to have four rows of double crochet stitches. Here I made four rows of doubles. The last row was worked on the wrong side. Now cut off the yarn leaving a long tail end to make the seam later. Here is the front and our four rows. One, two, three, four. Now fold these rows to the back in half like this. To create a tube, join the last row of doubles to these middle front post treble crochet stitches. There are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. To make the joining with the yarn needle work through the front post treble crochet stitches and double crochet stitches of the last row. As a result, you'll get such a tube to draw the shoe belt through. The front upper part of the shoe is ready. I made the seam. It is here inside. Through this tube we've created, I'm going to draw the shoe belt that we will begin crocheting right now. I'd like to say that it is better to hide all yarn tails right when you finish the work because later it would be a bit difficult to do. Before we continue, let's take a look at my second shoe which is completely ready. This complete shoe is for the right foot. Let's take a look closer. To begin the belt part of the right shoe, on the last round I skipped 4 stitches away from the cable to the left. Here, one, two, three, four. Then I joined the yarn to the next stitch and started the belt working in rows. The belt part on the left shoe we need to begin from the fifth stitch of the opposite side. So we need to skip four stitches away from the cable to the right and join the yarn to the next stitch. Let's do it. So skip four stitches, one, two, three, four. 
four stitches to the right from the cable and I'm going to start the work from the next fifth stitch. The first row of the belt part on the left shoe will be working on the wrong side, so turn the work, insert the hook into the fifth stitch away from the cable, take the working yarn, pull up all through the stitch, and then chain one to bring up the yarn and begin the first row. Continue single crochet into each stitch of previous round. Keep working until you have 4 stitches left on previous round before the cable stitch. Keep working single crochet and stop when you have 4 stitches left before the cable stitch. This is my first row of single crochet stitches, with this row we begin the belt. To both sides of the cable I left 4 stitches, here I skipped 4 stitches, and here I did not work through the last 4 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's continue. Chain 15 to start a belt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then turn the work to the right side and begin row 2. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. Then skip the first chain stitch away from the hook and single crochet into each of next 15 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, continue single crochet into each of next chain stitches and then into each single crochet of previous row. Let's complete row 2 together and begin the next one. Single crochet into the last single crochet of previous row. And then single crochet into the chain stitch that was made on the beginning of previous row. At this point row 2 is ready. Turn the work to the wrong side and begin row 3. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. Skip the first single crochet of previous row and single crochet into each single crochet across the row. Work all the way till the end of the belt. I'm about to complete row 3. I need to single crochet into the last two single crochet stitches of previous row. 1 and single crochet into the last single crochet. 2. Row 3 is ready. Here do not work through the chain stitch that was made on the beginning of previous row. It should be free. At this point, I'm going to crochet a button loop. For this, chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and work a slip stitch into the chain stitch that the first single crochet of the second row is made into. Now our shoe is almost ready. The next thing I would like to do is to crochet a row of a reverse single crochet trim. As you can see, if I start the reverse single crochet trim right from the point where I finish, that would be a wrong side row. To make it the right side row, I'm going to cut off the yarn here and join the yarn to the beginning of the belt part to this point and then reverse single crochet all the way across the edge. However, if you're working on the right shoe, you can start the reverse single crochet trim from the point where you finish the belt, because the last row there is the right side row. 
So if now you're working on the right shoe to begin the trim, just chain one is to bring up the yarn. And then reverse single crochet into the chain space. Reverse single crochet five times. One, two, three, four, and the last time, five. And then reverse single crochet into each stitch of the last third row. Again, this is how I started the reverse single crochet trim on my right shoe. On the left shoe that we are working on right now, after completing the last row of the belt part, cut off the yarn, pull the last loop all the way through the stitch, like this, and then hide the yarn tail. Now, Join the yarn to the beginning of the belt part. It is to the same fifth chain stage of previous round away from the cable stage that we started the belt part. Insert the hook into this stage, pull up a loop through, then chain one to begin the trim, and reverse single crochet First around the side stitches of each row, here, reverse single crochet. One, then two. Into the first stage of the last row, reverse single crochet twice to make a turn. One, and one more time into the same stage. Two. And then continue reverse single crochet into each stage across the row. Continue reverse single crochet into each stage of the last third row. Let me show you how to complete the reverse single crochet trim. Reverse single crochet into the last single crochet of previous row and then work into the chain space. Reverse single crochet five times. One, two, three, four, and the last time, let me start it over, five. Now I'll cut off the yarn and make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch to complete the row, like this. Here you just need to hide all tails and the upper part is made. Now to make our shoe prettier, I will make a reverse single crochet trim around the sole. For this, join the yarn to any stitch on the heel part. Insert the hook into the stitch. Take the working yarn and pull up a loop through. Chain one to begin the row. And now reverse single crochet all the way around the sole. Here I'm working through the stitches of the last round of the sole. It is through the stitches of round three. Keep working reverse single crochet till the end. To complete a round of a reverse single crochet trim, reverse single crochet into the last stitch. Then remove the hook of the working loop, insert it into the first reverse single crochet stitch from the back, and pull the working loop through, like this. Now you can cut off the yarn. 
here what we have. Now I just need to hide all tails and add a little button. Here how our ready crochet baby cable stitch shoes are look like. Let's measure them. The length of the sole is about 11 centimeters. Remember, we do not measure the trim. Hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at sharonating.com. Thank you so much for watching.